Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. This time we're looking at the T7HD New Hollands from the FBM modding team. So I've got three of the variations in front of me here. One in supposedly Fiat colours. Looks a bit too red for me though. And cream wheels as per Fiat spec and cream bonnet inserts for the grills. And that's on wide Trelleborg tyres. We also have a T7 in standard New Holland colours here on wide New Holland on wide white as tyres. And we also have the biggest T7 HD in the blue power colours, blue power seating in there, black rims, wide Michelin tyres with weights. This is T7315, the other are the two smaller ones, the T7290s. So we're going to concentrate our attention on the blue power one. We've got a plow and a weight there, waiting our attention. Textures do look a bit weird for the blue, but we know it's supposed to be metallic. So as we hop in the tractor, the steering column moves down. We go into the cab, We've got a nice level of detail in here. Of course these are based on the in-game one. Unfortunately they haven't issued custom sounds on these. If we bring up the F1 menu, see if we've got any IC on them. So there's something in there. And I'm going to have to guess it's to do with the door. Yeah. So. The door is one of them and the back window is the other one. How I do hate this mouse control, I see. Slam the door. So we've just got those two for IC on there. There's nothing on the left and right mouse button, but you need to just use both of them. So looking around the tractor on the outside, likewise, everything should work being based on the in-game one. LED beacons on there as well and indicators there so looks really beefy on these tires I'd like to hear the modded Optum sounds on these though to be honest the Optum that I've been using on the P-Wheel series so there's more than one out there this space. Otherwise Gav's going to be muddling, messing around in XML files again. Let's try and sort that. We can. So hoses all connect as they should do in the back out. So let's have the blue power variant back in the game. GPS on this as well, but we're not going to use it. And if there's a pain in the back, so I'd set up all these plows sometimes. So, seat is animated in there. So, the right pedal is. Not brake pedals are. No major modifications to this, obviously, but a uh, few. Enough to make it worth having a look at and see what we can find. Check we've got the plow up as wide as it'll go. Which I'm not sure about at the moment. The 
So this one isn't a very width on the looks of it, so it's not an issue for us. We'll just set this up on GPS, I think. I should get on this tractor. <clears throat> yeah. We'll try and leave it on the book setting this time. See if it works. When it's finished messing around. Okay, let's try that. I've got a feeling the line is on the wrong side, that's why I just want to check. But the track has other ideas. Couple of ends. Let's see what happens. So don't go too far across the field with it. We'll go back and we'll set on the GPS and see what happens. Star signs on the New Holland. Okay. Didn't look right, but apparently it is. Check that's all uh, doing, but certainly setting up alright because uh, anyone who's been watching my streams lately, you know, there's been a few issues setting combines and harvesters up GPS, including the ones in the DLC. That needs to just be shifted across a bit. Up, that's uh, sorted. Link and the new old always go well together. That's looking better. So we'll have a look at this in the shop now. Got the end here. Issues there. Yeah, we'll try it anyway. So we're under large tractors. Come across to T7 series there. So color options in here we have standard blue, blue power, warrior, faint green, and the fiat color we've already seen. Design colour refers to the grills there. 
and any room color you like. Whatever takes your fancy. So we've got Trelleborg tires in standard wide with weights twins. Michelin in standard wide weights twins. And Mitos in standard wide weight and twins. I would have liked to have seen a narrow wheel option with the trolley box, I'll be honest. Or with the uh, Michelins, because they're usually wider. These tractors do get used on narrow wheels for some jobs, especially in East Anglia. So we've got the blue power decal choice. It's a special version which changed the seat colours as well, same as blue power one does, because blue. And GPS tucked away in there, and then you just 290 or 315 options in there. So not a bad mod, quite a simple one, but certainly worth a download. And knowing FBM, there's every chance at some point this may get converted to console. They seem to put several across there so far, but that's in their hands and nothing I can say about that one. So that's where we're going to leave this video. So for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.